Comparing code with the merge tool is uh, pretty simple. First you import the versions and then you basically go compare and uh, I have a couple of versions in here so I'll go import uh, a couple of new things in here. So um, the first thing I have is the versions 1308 in here so I'll select that one and I'll just say that's my old version so I'm just going to import them. I need these ones to be able to actually compare against so I just import this one. Second, I need to import the version that I actually want to compare. Uh, so I'll go here and say, uh, again, I want to import. And uh, if I look at it, I have my merge tool on 3020 here. So I'll go ahead and change my, oops, that was not what I wanted. Um, change my code in here. And uh, I'll import uh, this version in here also. So now I have two versions. They have all been uh, imported here when this progress bar finishes. And I can then go and actually do compare between those ones. So I have a look at it here. I now have my 20 and my 8. So if I want to compare MT13020 here, I can go down to functions and actually do a compare in here. And then select what should be the old version in here. And I can select that 13008 in here. I have an option to actually delete equal objects, so if you're actually doing a compare against um, a release product from Microsoft and you only want to find your differences in your application, for example, you could say delete equal objects and you only have the remainder left that is actually the one that was not the same as last time. So let me go ahead and click that one and then let it run in here. This one, by the way, is a uh, highly optimized process. If you're running this one on SQL, actually move all the data local, run it in temporary tables, and then actually push it back to the SQL database as the compare actually finishes in here. So it now finished and uh, 325 of the objects were actually identical in here. And I can see uh, my end result down here. If I look at this one, where it actually saved comparison is actually in something that is called contrasts. And this one is a contrast between my version in 13008 and the one I'm actually having in here. And I can see it's 0.43% changed. I can actually go look at the lines for that one and it will show me this one. And then I can use this next change, next change, and I'll just use the hotkey here and I can see uh, the changes that were actually done in the code in here. And this one was something about the transformation setup, I guess, that needs uh, a function to retrieve it a little different in here. There's also some of them that are back new in here. And uh, those ones tells you that against that version, that object actually didn't exist at that time. And you can go through and look at all of it in here. There's a few different ways you can look at uh, the lock. You can also look at in a compare way in here. So if I look like this one, it now shows both my versions next to that, and I can again hit next, and it's just going to jump through all the changes actually in here. So I can see everything that was actually changed in here um, in my code at that time. So I could also go ahead and actually do an external compare, and it actually will launch my external editor for this object and mine is beyond compare and it actually now shows me the differences in here. You can't really do anything with it except you can view it in your external editor as you actually like in here.